With the expression "water grabbing" or "water hoarding," we're referring to situations where powerful actors are able to take control or take advantage of precious water resources. They take with them local communities or entire nations, whose livelihood is based exactly on those same resources and those same ecosystems that have been plundered. From a freely accessible common good, water is transformed into private property. That can be controlled by those in power, so others have to negotiate and pay for the privilege. The goal is to establish control not only of the resource itself, but above all, control of how the resource can be used, by whom, how much, for how long, and with what intentions, in a way that secures the most benefit. Water grabbing is one of the most common processes of appropriation, privatization, impoverishment, commercialization, and financialization of land. Water and natural resources. A group of reporters, photographers, cartographers, and researchers have completed a study on this issue while traveling between the Mekong Omo Valley, Palestine, and South Africa. The result of this work will be transformed into two books: one academic, and one photographic. A cartographic atlas, a special journalistic feature, and an exhibition. We believe that the work has just begun and must continue to push further to document new justices, new conflicts, and new stories.